came out to do some steel wool and abandonment and I don't think that's gonna happen this building right here is the old well what's left of the old Studebaker factory Great explore, but it now looks like they're working on it. They've been talking about renovating it for years and years, ever since I started exploring it. And now it looks like they're getting to work. It looks totally sealed up. There's a sign for cameras. So I'm gonna have to adapt here. I think we're gonna go cut through the industrial zone and head down to Hamilton's Bayfront. Oh yeah, things are going exactly to plan. It's gonna be an abandonment for golden hour. Now it's pitch dark out and I'm at the bayfront. But it is looking beautiful down here. It is very busy, a lot of people around. I'm not exactly a people person, so I'm gonna see if we can find somewhere that's a little bit more quiet while I enjoy my coffee. Ah, we'll make this work. Right at the water, so I hope the wind noise is not too bad found a spot far enough away from other people, I think, at least for now. So the first shot I'm gonna do here is with a six foot long uh, fiber optic whip. I'm gonna do a light painting shot off of some of these rocks here behind me with water from the bay in the foreground, hopefully reflecting it. Let's see what we can come up with. Looks like he got something usable out of that. I'm hoping so. I don't think we got the reflection that I was going for. But now I'm going to set up on the opposite side of it. Spin some steel wool. I think we got a couple of decent shots there. I'm hoping so. I know I'm happy with the steel wool photo. It is busy down here and I'm trying to come up with ideas on where to do some more shots. 
and I'm coming up dry and the only thing I could think of was a place that I, I need to go back to and I can do it with long exposure photos during the day so I'm gonna go home and go to bed see you all in the morning it's not the morning I uh, didn't get up in time and had other stuff to do so we're back out in the evening but a lot earlier so we're gonna be able to get that magic hour lighting do a couple of the other things I wanted to try out. We're starting downtown Hamilton with the church bells ringing. I think that's a good sign. I'll take it as a good sign anyways. Yeah, we're starting downtown Hamilton. We're going to go up the escarpment known as the mountain here. We're going to head to the largest tunnel in the country. The largest storm drain. I've explored it before. Uh, the lighting was very poor. It's hard to light up a tunnel and this was in my early days of exploring so i didn't have the best equipment or lighting but we still did what we could we made it a few kilometers in there i'm not messing with them they're slippery i've been down in here before and almost fallen on them so this is only ankle deep water i'm going down here i'm not risking falling that obviously mike's braver than i am or dumber, one or the other. Craziness. Now we keep going. What seems like a couple seconds for you guys is quite a while for us. We've already been walking a while. This tunnel is massive. Biggest one I've ever been in, that's for sure. Children of the pipe live forever. All right, let's go be a child of the pipe. Sounds like there is a bunch of water flowing here. Oh, it's slippery. For this one, we're just going to be in the front section of it. There's a pool, we're gonna go up to that possibly. And yeah, have some fun with light painting. Made it almost to the tunnel, losing sunlight really fast. And that water does not look good from what I saw on the drone, so might make my plans a little bit more difficult. Still gonna be able to work something out with this really, really cool spot. Let's get down there. Made it down here, it's getting dark really fast. So we're gonna have to get it set up here. First plan is I want to use these in the foreground. It's a lot drier than I thought. There's some dry spots to maneuver around. So we're gonna go see what we can get set up.
there are either some very large animals in the bushes in the trees back here or there's people I put my little flashlight on and it went quiet. I'm going to turn it off and give it a few minutes to see what happens. I don't like that. Okay, I thought I was losing my mind. There was just the reflection of eyes back in there. And now they're gone. Time for me to go. I'm going to climb up this backwards because I'm not going to turn my back on. Whatever those were. Until I have to. They were large eyes. I don't really want to mess with that. Okay, there's some there again. God, I hope you can see this in camera. I've got the wide angle lens on. Okay, whatever it is wants to follow me out and there was multiple and it's much I thought at first raccoon but it's much larger than that not freaking cool pretty much out where the starting point was to get in here and I'm still hearing things in the trees behind me I don't get spooked easy. And I know my nature and wildlife around here. That had me wanting to get out of here as fast as possible. And whatever it was that was looking at me, I'm still hearing it. I <sighs> Right there. Out of there, sitting down, taking a break. There's not much that can spook me. Get around animals and different kinds of people all the time and exploring and going places like this to do photos. That creeped me right out. Saw at least three sets of eyes uh, in the bushes and then they started to follow. I heard them all the way until I got out up by the road. <sighs> For this video, nothing wants to go to plan. Oh well, not giving up. All right, here we are, night three. I made the right move by getting out of there. I'm pretty sure those were coyotes. There's been some attacks in the area recently. It was the best thing to do. It's creepy. We're gonna have some better luck tonight. Cause I'm in more of a, a central downtown place, Victoria Park in the west end of Hamilton. Hopefully we're going to get a couple uh, more steel wool shots off. Maybe a couple light painting. It's going to be fun. Let's go. I'm gonna set up at a gazebo here. It's right behind me. You probably can't see it because of my light. We're gonna spin a steel wool orb inside of it, see how it turns out. All right, got a couple of really good shots tonight. Made all this craziness three nights in about a week, trying to get some good shots. Made it worth it. Hoping the wind noise isn't too bad, it's starting to pick up. I'm gonna call this, we've gotten some really good shots. You're gonna have to let me know in the comments what you think of them. 
or if you have any ideas like some cool ideas for light painting or steel wool let me know and I'll try them out hope you guys enjoyed this one and as always see you on the next adventure